new workflow called Rapid Index 2. Um, it's going to take the, the foundation of what you saw in Rapid Index 1 and build on a little bit. I'm adding an OCR processor to speed up things in my indexing. So let's do this. I'm going to close down that uh, those processes and let's just focus on, on these particular processes. I'm just going to reload it and refresh it here a little bit. Um, what I want to do just really quick is take you into the designer. And again, I'm not going to, this is not a training video. This is an end user uh, application video. But let me just show you what I did with the OCR step. I've drawn some zones around the invoice number, uh, the customer name and department. There's four lines here. vFiler can parse those out. And also the salesman's name because those are our index fields. The invoice number, customer name, salesman's department, and the document title is a constant variable. Okay, and again, this is not a training video. This is really just to show you the difference between workflow one and workflow two. Um, again, what I'm going to do is take our output folders and just get them out of there, remove them, and we'll let vFiler recreate them. Now, in our input folder, I've scanned in five different documents, typical file format that you'd see coming off a scanner. It's got the date. Um, let's take a look at one of these. It's just an invoice. You know, how would you do this without vFiler? Well, you'd have to drag them down into a network share and, you know, you'd have to rename them and create the folders and all of that stuff without a capture and index app like vFiler. What vFiler is going to do is capture each one. It's going to read the OCR zones so you don't have to type them. It's going to plug them into the index, the proper index fields, convert to PDF, and publish them over here to Windows folders very, very quickly. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, to get this party started, all I have to do is hit run. And you're going to watch these disappear. The first one's going to appear in your index screen off here to the right. And I, again, I don't have to type these. I don't have to draw boxes like in Workflow 1 to do dynamic on the fly OCR. vFiler did it all for me. All I need to do is visually validate all the information that vFiler read through OCR off the page. Because keep in mind, OCR technology, optical character recognition, is not a hundred percent perfect. Okay? If anybody tells you it is, they're lying to you. You could draw a line through here. It could be a crinkle in the page. It could be a rip, a tear. Lots of things can happen. So if you're using OCR to read multiple index fields, you're definitely going to want someone to visually quality control the document before you send it off to a repository of some type. Okay, so now I'm, it looks good to me. I'm going to hit Save and Next. It'll go over here and create that Windows folder. Okay, and then the next one appears. I'm going to visually validate the invoice number. Customer name looks good. You can, you can blow this up a little bit if you need to here as you're looking you know, and visually looking over your document. Um, all looks good to me. I'm going to hit Save and Next. Again, this is very, very quick if you've got structured documents. Okay, oh, look at there. Didn't read the invoice number right. So 11073, little quality control there. Hit Save and Next, and it's going to create that folder. Okay, and here comes the next one. Oh, another one, 11074, real quick. Probably a zone off or something. Could be a scanner registration. Hit Save and Next. And this can be tweaked and modified and improved on. There, there you go. The last one looks perfect. Okay. So again, I'm all done indexing my documents. All my Windows folders have been created here nice and neat for me. And uh, I did it very efficiently. And keep in, you know, look at the end of the video here. There's some more links for you to look at uh, training and a workflow series. It'll step you through how to get this up and running.